Connor Morrison, aka Ashley. I'm at the beach with my boyfriend. I don't know, we were on kind of like a little break, but he's really weird. I'll get into more of that stuff one day. He's over there with his kids, and I didn't want to like smoke weed in front of his kids and around other people's kids because we are at a public beach. But I um, found a spot where like no one really is, so I should be fine here. I'll smoke a cigarette with you guys first, then I'll smoke my bowl, and then I'll probably smoke another cigarette. Just so it's a longer video. And you can hear the water in the background, like I'll show you guys that as much as I can without trying to stop the video so it can be uploaded when I get home in one shot because I know I owe you guys a lot of videos because I haven't been filming this summer. And it hasn't even been that crazy, like I only went shooting a couple times. We came to the beach a couple days ago but we got rained out. And I went to Tinkertown which is like a little amusement park for kids. He brought me there because he always brings his kids there and he wanted me to check it out. And I flipped out on the Ferris wheel. But before that I went on a ride where you feel like the zero gravity part and like I just, I can't handle that shit no more. I don't know like, and I did wear makeup today because I didn't know I was coming to the beach so my makeup might be all messed up. My hair's all messed up, I know that. I need to dye it tonight. I'm thinking either black and purple or brown and purple just because it's so unhealthy at this point. I'm really not happy with like the frizz and all that so I have to do something to make it healthy and that'll probably be laying off bleach for a while. But yeah, oh, of course someone's walking by now. I don't know if you're allowed to smoke or not cigarettes, but I guess we'll see if they say anything. And also they'll probably be wondering why I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to all you guys once it uploads. I found a really big catfish, dead catfish on the beach. If I remember, I'll try to film that for you guys so you can see it, because that, I was poking it with a stick. I'm talking to a camera, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Just in case some people wonder, like, oh shit, stay away from her. <laughs> my camera's crooked, crooked, I can't help that because my tripod's all screwed up and I have to fix that when I'm at home with some, like, tape or glue. Don't mind my gut hanging out, I tried to hide it, but... This is the only, like, bathing suit I could find at fucking Walmart. I hate Walmart. Like, it's all, like, what, like, you gotta buy the top and the bottom separate, and then none of them match, and there, a lot of them were for, like, 300-pound women. All the smalls were gone, so this is like all that there was. Because my bathing suit's at home, which I actually like. But this'll do. The music's playing really quiet, so hopefully like YouTube doesn't catch it. Shouldn't with like the waves in the background. I'll show you guys the water now and then we'll come back and smoke the pipe. It's Winnipeg, so the water is not like blue or anything, it's brown. That's why I want to get to Cali. Hopefully by next year, there's a plan. There's a plan, you know. And I don't know how to swim, so it's not like I go far in the water because I got scarred. But I can show you guys a little bit. Well, the camera will stay. I don't know. Yeah, my tripod sucks. I don't think it'd stay up. And then it'll go crooked. Yeah, that one. There you go. Beach fun! <laughs> but now I've brought you guys to the beach. We can walk out of it if you guys want. I just hope like nothing falls. I don't know which way the like lights that way, I think. There's lots of rocks on this part. Ow! Like our beautiful brown water. Welcome to Winnipeg! And there's seagulls. I can see my whatever way over there. <laughs> my boyfriend, my ex, my. I wanna find seashells. Ooh, it's all muddy there. Ew, it scares me. And now it's bubbling. What if there's something there? I'm scared. I'm by myself. Yeah, there's like no one at this area for some reason, so I'll come here. Can I show my butt that way? There we go, there's my butt. I don't like, I don't think this bathing suit does my butt justice. I 
guys filming the other way before. Can you see me this way? I just want to smoke a big fat bowl, get really high, and then like sun can. I think you could see better that way though. that bad. For Winnipeg, like, what can you do, right? Oh, shit, straight that way. There's, like, all that green behind. I see a smoke. Other people smoke here. I don't know why I was doing duck lips. I think from that way, that's where she no. I wish it wasn't crooked, I'm sorry. Kind of sucks. I bury my butt, so at least it's not that bad. No one's walking on cigarette butts, etc. Okay, it's smoke is bowl while no one's around. <coughs> Still gotta go with drinks and stuff, fuck. After bowl, we can walk around a little bit. <coughs> I'll yap some more. It's not windy though, I like that. Because we had a bit of a heat wave last week. It was super hot. And then yesterday with the wind, it was like it felt cold, like fall weather to me. A lot of people liked it because they work in the heat, so they're like, oh that was like a major break. And it's like, I like the heat. Winter's coming, like, it's already August. All we have left is really August, and it could start getting cold at the end of August. You never know. So, yeah, got to enjoy it while we can. I didn't do no photo shoots. I didn't do anything that I said I wanted to do because I didn't really do it last year. I got lazy at the tracks last year. And the fort burnt down. And, like, now there's nothing to build because they took everything away. They cleaned up that entire area, and they chopped a bunch of shit down. So that made me sad. And then I got a boyfriend and I got distracted in that because we weren't doing so well. And it's just really complicated. Like, there's a lot of times where I knew I should leave because I wasn't happy and that was making it worse. Um, I wasn't handling myself right, so anything that he did, which nothing, like, not everything he did was right. Like, I'm not trying to stick up for him or anything, but I know how I get when I'm unhappy and I wasn't helping the situation. So I want to see it when I'm in a better mindset, which is like right now, and see how it goes. Because it was just getting to the point where he's starting to hold cigarettes against me and wine. And it's like, yeah, I don't work, and I want wine, and I want cigarettes. I get that at home. So like, I could go home. So I was home for a week, and we weren't really getting along. And I said I'm done. He said he's done. Well, he said he was done, so that made me like say a bunch of shit that I never said to him. And um, that's when he started texting more because it was like, oh, shit, she's done now. So he probably had to wheel me back in. And um, he was having a fight with his, his baby mom, um, like his ex that he has the two kids with. So he got really upset and that's when he picked me up and we hung out again because we didn't hang out for like a week. And then I went home the next day because I wasn't feeling good and he had his kids and I didn't want to go play at like an amusement park when I was feeling sick and it was hot. And then Sunday he had another, not with his ex, but his ex's new boyfriend said something and it made him pissed off. So he picked me up that on Sunday. Today's Thursday, so I've been there. I've been there since Sunday. It's been going good so far. Like we got back on track with sex. We're having sex again, and that's going good. And um, we're talking more, and we're treating each other better. So we'll see how it goes. Because I was making plans to like get picked up next year by a friend in California. He was going to drive from Cali to Canada, and then we we're going to travel across America. So I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, there's just a lot of shit. 
I didn't even explain it all right now. I know it's near me because it's not windy, so I could probably smell the weed. <coughs> I thought it was a rocket fan. <coughs> Jesus. My glasses, I have to go to the dollar store and get new ones because first this broke off and now I guess I stepped on them when they were on the beach and like this part broke so the lens keeps falling out so it's like two parts that are broken. Lucky they're just reading glasses so I can get them from the dollar store. I'll have to do that tonight when I get hair dye. And then I want to condition my hair for like eight hours, let it get healthy, and then dye it brown and then like halfway through I'll stop. And that's where I want to put a dark purple. And I'll put the dark purple through the brown too, because maybe it'll tint it. And like that, the purple dye has a lot of conditioner in it and it's already conditioning. So I'm gonna leave that in all night, the next day or whatever, for eight hours. And then wash that out and my hair should be a lot healthier and then I won't be bleaching it. So it'll have a chance to heal for at least, I only did it for five months last time, four or five months I went brown. But I, I should do it for like six to seven months at least and do some like treatments in between and stuff so it actually is healthy for when I go to bleach it for colors again and then I'll have time to like think of a really cool hairstyle and buy some different colors and not just do the same thing I always do because that would be fun I don't know if I don't forget anything I got my sunglasses, my music phone, my cigarettes but they'll go back in my purse I'm stoned now I get more paranoid when I'm stoned though especially when I'm not drinking if I was drinking I wouldn't be paranoid. I don't know how that works, but that's how I am now. I'll put this in my purse. And I won't lose that. I'm going to put those there. Oh, I probably was wearing my glasses, but that's just going to my hair feel. Oh, a little birdie! in the water. I'll find a better spot though. How long has it been filming? 12 minutes? That's not bad. I don't want to go clo too close to people though. Then they hear you talking. And I'm smoking again. Like it's hard to go in the water when you're smoking. The part where we are is cool. It has like a little sandbar almost. Like it's and then you can sit in that water and it's warmer. It's only a tiny part though. I like that part. God, it's hard to see. And this tripod doesn't help. Of course, it's gonna go really crooked. Yeah, I actually filmed a longer video. I'm patting myself. And I can upload it. Yeah. Yeah. Sunglass! Oh, this one's not too worn down though. It's really Ooh, a shell! I found a shell! Better than the other one I found. Right? Oh, that's rude to say. You can tell I get quiet, more quiet when I'm I, It's like 
I still want to talk because there's a lot going on in my head and I'm thinking all these random thoughts and it's going into other things. But I just like don't say them out loud. It's like easier to say them in my mind. It's like I'm too lazy to talk. Mm. I got sand on that, so I'm gonna put that up. Okay, now we could just like go up for a lot of it. I'm gonna bring the tripod though. Snap. See, but like you gotta walk that way and the sun's not good that way. It's good this way, backwards. It's like, I don't wanna walk backwards. I can walk this way. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I get freaked out when I feel stuff under my feet. I think it looks better on camera, the water, but probably not. And there's some parts that go higher, and then it'll go lower again. But it doesn't really drop, like, just drop, so that's good. That I don't like that. I can't swim. I tried today a little bit. Like I guess you really gotta practice, but like yeah, I don't know how to swim. I tried to doggy paddle, I tried everything, I tried really hard. <laughs> yeah, see it's going up again. Cause some beaches will go up and then it'll just like drop and it's like, oh that was the pits. Yeah, the pits did that. You're not supposed to swim there though, so Don't drop your phone, Ashley. And then the bathroom. Whoa. I usually go like as deep as like under my boobs and then it, that's when I start to get scared. And then I go back. Like the waves aren't strong, but like you still feel them and I don't- Ooh, it's all gunky there, I don't like that. Ugh, that scares me, I'm gonna get out of there. <laughs> God, I get scared easy, holy shit. Yeah, that was funny, like on the ferris. So we went around once to like put all the people on and get all the people that already went around off. <laughs> And that's when I started freaking out. I'm like, I want to get off. We should get off. And then he's like, are you serious? I thought I was joking. I'm like, no, like for real. And I unbuckled us and we were starting to go. And then I started like, no, no, like we need to get off. And he's like, yeah, like, and he's like, don't unbuckle us. And then like the guy's like, are you serious? You need to get off? I'm like, yeah. So he stopped it and I got off. And yeah, that was it. But before that, we went on this boat one and it goes like, like, like that, like a U, a big U. And it goes all the way up. So it's like just to the point where you get like no gravity or whatever. And you're not really buckled in good because it's a child's ride. It's like a, a child's amu uh, play amusement park thingy. So, <laughs> but I, we went on the back, so the highest part goes the highest. And I was, he was having fun. I held on to him like I was dying. I couldn't even scream like because I was like I wasn't scared. Scream, like I was scared like shitless. Like I couldn't talk. I thought I was gonna die. I just wanted to be off the ride. I closed my eyes and that made it worse. But I couldn't open them. And. Yeah. I'm going to end the video though because my arm's getting sore. But I love you guys and I hope everyone has a great summer. Be safe. How do I, where's the...